is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. Such a nice, good Valentine's Day. It sure will be. Imagine that, Kristen. You guys, if I have to run to find my soulmate, I'm not even into it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> Too much work. Meet me at the taco stand. <laughs> Let's take a live look outside. I want to show you how different our La Jolla sky cam looks from this time yesterday. A beautiful sunrise, and yesterday we were seeing so much fog at this time. But let's look at Coronado all foggy down there. So that shows you just how different these pockets of fog can be depending on where you are. Let's show you this on the visibility map here. It's not as bad in most locations as it was at this time yesterday. We're seeing six miles of visibility up in Oceanside, seven miles of visibility in San Diego and La Jolla, down in Chula Vista, limited to six miles as well. But we're going to keep checking this for you throughout the morning as that visibility changes. The dense fog advisory is in effect until 8 a.m. right along the coast. And then take a look at the brown from the inland valleys over to the western portions of the deserts. That's our wind advisory going into effect at 10 p.m. It'll be with us through tomorrow afternoon. We're going to see 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, they're going to really pick up in the inland valleys, possibly 45 to 60 mile per hour gusts. You're going to feel those easterly winds picking up at about dinner time. Right now it's 54 in La Jolla, 52 in San Diego, down in Chula Vista. Good morning to you. You're waking up to 49. Escondido, 51 where you are today. Here's our high pressure rebuilding over the Great Basin, funneling in that warm that dry air and it's going to make it very toasty on Monday and Tuesday. But in the meantime, until that wind picks up out of the east, we're going to feel the sea breeze at the coast. So it'll be nice and cool until about dinner time when that wind direction changes. It'll be 77. We do have that high surf advisory at the coast today. 81 tomorrow, 82 on Tuesday and then look at Wednesday, 75 degrees. Temperatures start to drop and that's when we have our rain chances Wednesday through Friday. We'll see the 60s Thursday and Friday next weekend. Not too too early to look ahead, right? It'll be pretty nice in the 70s. 82 today inland for your Valentine's Day. The 90s, the next two days, are overnight lows in the 50s until Thursday when the cold storm comes through. For the mountains today, maybe take a romantic trip up to Julian. 68 will be your high. And for the deserts, 86 degrees. The wind is going to get really intense tomorrow, though.